Lucy, your fearing psychic. Today is March 12th, 2023, and it is daylight savings time. So everybody, if your phone hasn't already informed you, move your clocks forward for those of us in the United States. I think the, either all or the majority of states do still observe daylight savings time. Although that might change next year because there's a bill that's being passed. I, I would love it if we didn't have daylight savings done. I really would because it takes me about a week or two to get used to losing that hour. But the positive thing right now is the days are naturally getting longer and uh, this just makes them even longer. Uh, the reading I am doing today is on Ivanka Trump and her uh, recent testimony to Jack Smith's grand jury regarding uh, the events that led up to and, and, and around the attempted coup to bring down our, our government as well as anything uh, regarding the big lie where Trump continues to say that he won the election of 2020. I'm using the Sarah Marchetti Gilded Tarot for the reading and then we have an oracle card from the Sufi Wisdom Oracle deck by Rasuli. The subject card that the guides gave me was Justice. So this is the actual testimony, the trial. Uh, this is Jack Smith. This is focus on Ivanka's part in the uh, her, her alleged involvement in <laughs> the take the attempt to take over from the American government it just sort of blows my mind how huge that is I mean that's it's just hard to fathom but this is uh, focusing on on the testimony she can give regarding her own actions as well as her her father's and others uh, around that and she she was there. She was part of the inner circle. She had a part in it, a place in it. The clarifying card, there's two. This is a two of wands. So this is the choice. What choice does she make? Does she tell the truth and implicate her father and others and herself? Or does she choose to go down this other road of uh, taking the fifth? <laughs> Uh, lying or not saying anything or protecting her her father and the third clarifying card is the three of swords so regarding the choice she makes there is heartbreak here there's damage to a relationship there are these consequences that are actually you know stabbing or piercing uh, uh, the relationship she has with her, her her father but this is also a card that is representing grief and and this is the grief that Ivanka still has for her mother and her mother's death and the way that her mother's death was handled and the anger and the embarrassment and the disbelief almost of what what happened to her mother and how her mother's wishes were completely ignored and thrown to the ground and smashed and and and, and she's made a laughing stock and she's she's laid to rest on the is it the first hole or the third hole I can't remember and then there's that golf tournament and Ivanka has not recovered from that and I have, I asked my guides about this and obviously please take everything I say with a grain of salt. It could be wrong, but I feel like Ivanka fought for the ashes and the ashes are not on the golf course. I don't know what's buried there. We you know, have uh, conjectured that there could be some documents there, but I don't believe uh, 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 that Ivana's ashes are there. I think Ivanka put up a big fight and at least got her, the, her mother's ashes. It's a horrific thing for uh, Ivanka to experience. And also 
there is, a, 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 it's very complex, but there's also a sense of if this is how they treated my mother, and I'm very, you know, she looks like her mother. Is this me? Is this how I, my father perceives me? Is this what will happen to me? Is this really what he feels about me? If he can do this to my mother. So I believe this was the first uh, crack in the uh, spell that Donald Trump has or had over his daughter that allowed her to just be so uh, exploited and uh, inextricably, I can't say that word, I'm sorry, inextricably, excuse me but it, it, you know what the word i'm trying to say uh, tied up in in all of his father in her father's schemes and she was very much a vital part of his campaign and and the persona he wanted to project uh like the kennedys or something this that you know that's what his daughter represented and she was oftentimes his first lady going in place of of melania on his diplomatic trips so she's very much really married to her father. There was emotional incest going on there that we can observe. And she I probably always assumed that she was going to be treated uh, in the in the in a way which assured her future, which uh, allowed her to realize her ambitions because she wanted to be president. She, she was along for this ride. And she didn't even question it. But then with the fallout of, of the failed coup and then this, this horrible uh, uh, way to, to treat her mother's death so egregious to her, that was what allowed her to break away, like wake up from a deep sleep and uh, realized she had she wasn't going to be safe. Trump, her father, Donald Trump, would throw her under whatever bus he found convenient, and he was not going to look after her or her husband. So she had to start fighting for her own family and herself and her mother. As a result, the queen of swords here she is and she has the sword of revenge and the sword of anger and and the sword of the need for justice you know hashtag justice uh, ivana hashtag justice for mother um and this is what her testimony has been and she so with this card and the feeling of this card is that she's given a lot of information and she's a key witness against her father and those who uh, mounted the, the uh, coup, the, the, the uh, insurrection attempt in the passes of the tower. And this is really Ivanka falling out of the tower. This is the, the insurrection, the coup, the big lie, all, all of the chicanery here. And this is Ivanka falling out of that tower. And the, the Justice card is now shining a light on that, as well as her father. And underneath is the devil. <laughs> and this is Trump, him, Donald Trump himself. And this is a destruction of Ivanka's reputation in that fire. In the future, the lovers reversed and my guide show me this is the rift uh, in the relationship between her and her father and also the, uh, a potential for a divorce with jared himself and there have been rumors going around so her testimony the result is this and a narcissist like Donald Trump, when somebody goes against him, it doesn't matter whether it's a child or a parent, whoever it is, it's the end. They become the enemy. And there, it, there's something called the narcissistic 
discard or uh, yeah I think that's what it's called so a narcissist will just discard a person and that's fine that's pretty final unless there's a potential for exploitation and usage in the future but she's now discarded from his life and he is really really angry at her how dare she the clarifying card is the four of pentacles so this is a vanka trying to hold on to what she has her assets her resources her her family her children really and that is also a motivation as to her testimony so i don't believe that she is going to prison or if there are fines i don't think i think she's she's going to be able to hold on to a lion's share of her wealth so she can take care of herself and her family and her future and, and in the future the outcome card is the six of swords and this is her getting out of dodge getting away she's going to try to gain distance she already is gaining distance and she's going to try to remake herself and come back reinvented i think at some point in the future but she wants to get as far away as she can from her father and the big lie and all of all of this and she paid the price with her testimony but she also i believe got revenge that is my reading on ivanka trump the update it's going to be if we if we get to see or, or hear or read about what she actually did say and what part she has in bringing her father and his cohorts down that that's going to be very interesting and there's there's more uh, subpoenas for her i think letitia james is requiring her to testify and others i'm sure because she was so in, uh, and i'm not gonna that word again came to my mind inextricably <laughs> I have to practice that one. Uh, she was so tied up in everything that her father did. So uh, the price she has to pay to act, to get out of Dodge, that's a lot of info. That's a, a lot of uh, telling where the bodies are buried. Let's shift gears and I will read our card, which is trust your gut feeling. Trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you to who you are. Each person has been made for some specific work. The longing for that work has been put into your heart. We waste our energy designing and carrying out plans to become what we already are. And that's a poem by Rumi. The secret to having a successful life lies in having a combination of love and faith. Love is the power that makes us fearless to move forward faith develops perseverance in us no matter how long it takes or the number of challenges that come along the path uh, that, that we are on it takes both love and faith to lead us joyfully to where we're going this oracle brings grace to make you aware of the universe inside yourself reach for it by having experiences that would open new dimensions dimensions of reality to you discover what you genuinely care about and make sure you're being true to what you find when you completely focus on what you are doing and are fully immersed in it you are in a state of flow being in flow makes work effortless your creative power increases and you will be inspired and more motivated from within oh dear one the way is open for you to see what is possible. The love you feel inside your heart is what directs and guides you to where you have been programmed to go. You already hold the map to your treasures. By trusting and following it, you will be strengthening your capability to make decisions for your life. Soon you will discover your thoughts are seeds that will sprout and grow. You can break out of confinement and limitations and move beyond what others say you cannot do. 
mantra. I tell myself I can, I can, I can. It is time to turn my big ideas into reality. I have faith in my vision and I believe in myself. Trust your gut feelings. I want to remind everybody that I am available for personal readings. I read on past lives, anything in the present. I'm a medium and I love to introduce you to your guardian angels. My information regarding contact is in the description below and at the end of the musical interlude, which I hope you stick around for. Please take care. I love you. I will be back next week. See you soon, okay? Bye.